Welcome back, my delightfuls, to another Tokyo Revengers review. If you're new here to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the Lightbulb Army. This episode, the very l l let me start from the beginning. Let's not talk about that. L l let's start from the beginning. Okay, so the battle continues against Taiju. They are all powerless. So we have Kai, we have Mitsuya, we have Shifuyu, Takamichi, Yusuha, all fighting against Sakai, right? And sorry, not Hakai, Taiju. All fighting against Taiju. And this guy, Taiju, he's older than them and stronger. This literally reminds me of the Dragon Ball Z movie, the first uh, Broly movie. How overpowered Broly was. Taiju is literally has a bodybuilder built destroying everybody like they're nothing the only person that hasn't fought taiju 101 yet is hakai because hakai still is scared of his big brother taiju all those years of torment all the year, years of beating all the years that he thought that love hurts because of his big brother taiju and his horrible violent ways and the way he treated both Hakai and Yusa is just completely horrible to the point where the younger brother Hakai wanted to kill his older brother to the point where Yusa wanted to kill her older brother as well and that's how horrible he is right but it's like Takamichi said if you do this Hakai you will become scum. This is not the way to do things. But Takemichi basically saying, if you want to fight, fight with your fist. Don't fight with a weapon. Kill your brother. And then you'll end up behind bars or juvie or whatever. And your whole life will be ruined, basically. And obviously, because Takemichi knows what happens in the, that timeline, that Hakai supposedly killed Taiju. But we find out this episode that Yusuha... Yusuha was the one that killed Taiju, but Hakai didn't want Yusuha to face the consequences of what she did, so he took the blame for it, and then later on took control of the Black Dragons, and after taking control of the Black Dragons, Kisaki was puppeteering him because he knew the truth, right? So Kisaki the Snake, always mastering a plan here and there, this guy is so annoying. He's even the one that told Yusuha about the situation that was happening. So she could go into the church, right? Because he probably predicted, okay, if Hakai doesn't have the guts to kill his brother, then the sister will try to protect Hakai, right? So it's a whole family drama thing like takamichi said it's like why are y'all trying to kill each other like this is insane and hakai is so uh not hakai taiju so strong he literally lifted the, the the seating area of a church and threw it. it this thing weighs a lot like it was nothing and takamichi even was like oh man i i, I thought i was gonna die like i was like wow this episode i just finished watching it and i, I was like i, I gotta record the, the review now i gotta record it because uh you're getting my reaction how i felt after watching the episode like right away like it is it, it was so good mitsuya showing up I, I was scared for takamichi because takamichi takamichi no matter what we say about him right this guy could take a beating. The crybaby hero could take a beating. The hero that knows he's going to lose and still fights could take a beating. All you saw was Taiju. Boom, 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 boom. I'm like, this dude's about to die. Like, Takamichi's about to die. Mitsu, uh, Shifuyu's like, Takamichi, enough. That Stop. <laughs> like, I, I felt so bad for Takamichi. And he still didn't take a knee or nothing after all that. He lost consciousness. You know when his eyes are completely white. He lose consciousness. And still standing tall. I was like, Takamichi. Your respect level went up even more. Because in season one, there was very respectable moments in that too. But taking this kind of beating and still standing up. Alright, we can talk a little about the ending now. Still standing up and telling this man Taiju. Th th this is the line. Let me go back to the episode. Let me go back to the episode because 
I, I'm so excited. One one eye completely like left eye completely like like busted. Like you can't open the eye right now. It, it, it's swollen. He says this, Taiju. I'm going to defeat you, and take over Black Dragon, and that pisses off Taiju even more. Hakai is shocked. She fooled you on the floor. It's like, oh, like shocked as well. Like, but like Hakai's face, like Taiju, his vein, like of how mad he eats Robbie is after he hears that. He hears that because he literally tells Takumichi in this episode, how many, how many times do I have to punch you on you till you're satisfied? Like you, you just love taking pain. Like, he, and this goes to show you, right? That it's showing Hakai, like, look, I'm not this powerful. Like, Takamichi is not that powerful. It's showing him that he's still, Takamichi's still fighting, still saying he's going to take over the Black Dragon. He's going to defeat Taiju. I was like, this is insane. This is so cool. Like, I, I, oh, man, the facial expressions, the voice acting, everything is, is, is so cool. Shifuyu say Takamichi after hearing those words. Takamichi looking serious. Oh, my like, oh, This Tokyo Revengers people are sleeping on this season. Sleeping on it. I'm telling you, if this season was just on Crunchyroll, like, it, like they... The hype will be more. The hype will be more. Like, I know Crunchyroll... I, I'm not saying have every anime on Crunchyroll because then it will be a monopoly and then Crunchyroll won't have competition and stuff and it's not going to be good because then... <laughs> I made a whole video about that. The, 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 the short thing is if Crunchyroll has all the anime, they could charge ha ha however much money they want and they can just keep raising the prices, which is not a good thing. It's always good to have competition. But sometimes, like, anime like this, like Tokyo uh, Revengers Season 2, it just, it just flies under the radar. Like, I haven't really seen a lot of buzz for this. Maybe on YouTube. Because, to tell you the truth, I, I, I don't really... Let's see. Tokyo Revengers Season 2, Episode 7... I don't really watch reviews, like barely. I, I only watch a couple of YouTubers for reviews, maybe two, two or three. That's it. So yeah, it's not really getting a lot of buzz uh, from what I'm seeing. Not a lot of people are covering it, unfortunately, which is very sad. Uh, I, I just looked it up, but it, it's yeah, episode seven, right? We're on episode seven. <laughs> I, I'm just double checking. I, no, I don't. Oh, Tokyo Revenger Season 2, Episode 7 Review. Did nobody cover this? Okay, somebody covered this. Courage. That's what they titled it. Maybe I'll watch their review. Uh, hell, hell, what? Wow. All right. But yeah, like, I, I definitely do think it, it just deserves, it deserves more eyes on it. But, you know, the streaming company with the most money is it, what gets the anime and stuff like that. Also, the scene where Takamichi's like, oh, we just have to buy time for Mikey. And then they're like, uh, we didn't call Mikey. This is this is not a Tomon problem. This is our problem. And Takamichi falls to his knees like, no, this can't be. Mikey's not showing up. Mikey's not showing up. Like, it, it, it's just crazy. All right. By the excitement of this, I'm give you already know I'm giving this as a high rating. This episode was a nine out of ten.